Johnson, and I am formerly Senior Tone, 1992. Paul got it wrong, 30 years ago. <laughs> um, it is always a pleasure to grace Miss Vinia Tone competition on a yearly basis whenever Mr. Ibrahim calls on me. Um, I had the pleasure of speaking to you ladies, I think it was last week, and I'll just give you a brief synopsis um, following up from my fellow um, past queen, Natalie. Entering the competition was one of the most challenging experiences for me, and yet still it's the best decision I've made in my life. Um, Mr. Abrams is a, t a very tough cookie. <laughs> um, he's very um, determined. You know, he approaches us on a daily basis in terms of um, entering the competition. My cousin um, encouraged me to join because I was an infamous tomboy, and I reluctantly said yes. Um, at the time, it was two of us that entered the competition from my family, and again, guys, it, it, it turned out to be the best thing. When you come into an environment that you're not accustomed to, someone pouring out love, confidence, determination in you, something you have never even knew you had. I mean, what more could we ask for? This competition is not getting, the, for me, the recognition that it is supposed to. If I can stand here 30 years after a fine specimen of this competition, can you imagine what Mr. Abrams would do for this community if he got the support that he deserved? So personally, I want to say, Mr. Abrams, you know I was never <laughs> one of the most tolerant um, participants, and I've never publicly said it before, and I want to take the opportunity to tell you thank you. You know where I'm coming from, Mr. Abrams. <laughs> And you have poured your all in us. Ladies, Natalie and myself is real. We're not fake. What you see in front of us is what Mr. Abrams pour out inside of us. And it will only be better for you to listen, to grasp, to ask questions, and to look at us to say, these ladies made it, I can make it too. Yes. When I entered the competition, there was a lady by the name of Joy. When she, when I, when she visited the competition, I couldn't believe that People could look the way she looked. Mr. Abrams, I asked you for part for joy last week. She was a fine example for me. She made it possible for me to, to know what I could look like, what I could be. Today I stand proud, I'm proud owner of our promotional products company, Anchor Brand Services. I have two girls, I have a husband, and all of that is possible because Mr. Abrams poured in me confidence, belief, and the drive to never give up. Yes. Anything is possible, ladies. Just listen to him. We know that he's hard to deal with. And his infamous saying, Never is only one hard look down. Ladies, <laughs> today I hold my head high because of Mr. Abrams. I don't have a book on my head as you would normally give you one. But a figurative book is there. And I walk with confidence. There's nothing too good for me to do for this competition. My time is valuable and it is well spent when I'm here. And I tell you, ladies, we're all here as support. Call on us. We will encourage you. We'll be there for you. And do your best. You're all winners. Just the mere fact that you finish the competition, you leave with something that is priceless. So please, do your best. Take all the encouragement. Do not look at this competition as something mediocre, cousin. It is not. Trust me. You can become anything you choose to be with passion, determination, and confidence. And we can hold our head high as true representation of this community. Yeah. So thanks for the opportunity, Paul. I hope I've made you proud as an individual and as an extension of your family. And Maud, would, I know, would be very proud. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> as Paul's mother. Thank you so much, Mr. Abrams, for all that you do, continue to do. I am always here to support my community and you. And I just wish that other members of this community would pour more in you and this competition. We know it's not a competition, but it's a competition, right? So thank you so much. Enjoy the evenings. Sorry, the evening. And if you have any questions, please, you can always call on me. All right? Thank you. Now we turn over to the
Thank you, Mr. Vinyan. Please give her a big round of applause.